Hello and welcome to Talking Corner. This is Gamers Corners podcast. I'm Cypher Thirty Three. I'm Doctor. I'm Cowboy. I'm Grow. Hello and welcome back. It has been a while, guys, since we have put out a uh, a podcast here on Gamers Corner. Uh, we've actually done some rearranging of things. We've gotten a couple different programs. We've gotten a little bit different structure. Uh, changed some things up. We've actually upgraded our systems. We've done a lot of things, and uh, we're excited to bring the community along with us. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Lots of excited. changes. Lots of changes. Specifically, uh, one change that we brought here within the podcast itself is we gave we gave it a little bit of structure. So uh, we're going to actually be breaking into different segments where each owner individually goes through a topic that is more personal to them or or something more in their wheelhouse. Uh, that they can actually help the community with or just bring advice in those areas. So, uh, for instance, uh, Doc, you're going to be in charge of our tech tips segment. Give us give, today. Give me uh, like one sentence of what this segment's going to be about. Today, um, I'm going to talk the, the whole new um, NVIDIA graphics card thing, uh, AMD graphics card, the comparison between the two pricing. Um, not going into too much detail really of exactly what's best because they are running quite close at the moment but just like a general overview of the, the two against each other and um yeah that's, that's awesome. awesome that's awesome then and then after that we're going to actually cut into a segment with you grill uh you are going to be talking to us about stream tips give me an idea here okay so i'm going to be talking about um consistency with streaming uh either if you're streaming too much or not streaming enough um there's a fine line there so i'm going to go over that Awesome. And finally, well, not finally, the, the one that I'm excited about is always the food one, the food category. Cowboy, what are you going to be giving us today in the, in the area of food? Well, we're going to give you a quick dish, one you can make in give or take 15 minutes. Um, we run over some tricks and tips for the kitchen. Nice. That's good. Can't wait. And then after that, I'm going to wrap it up with some trivia today, boys. People love the trivia. I got some easy trivia, so hopefully you won't feel uh as flabbergasted as before when i gave you the medium trivia so it might be a little bit easier for you. just picking on you hope you guys have your uh your alert sounds ready because i definitely want those same alerts in the next one <laughs> hi i actually completely <laughs> forgot what i had yeah i might have to try a new one hey everybody welcome back um our first segment we're going to talk about is going to be tech tips and that's with doc so doc go ahead and tell us a little bit about um the graphics card topic that's going on today. Cheers, man. Yeah, so I'm just going to um, have a quick chat about the whole NVIDIA versus AMD graphics card battle. It's sort of been looming over the last uh, sort of few months leading up to this point, and um, everyone's been sort of waiting to see what they're going to come out with. Um, NVIDIA obviously dropped their 30 series earlier than AMD, so it's a bit of the old sort of battle remember with um still with samsung versus apple in phones like every time a new one drops another one drops later and they're always sort of comparing the two and, and waiting to see which one's going to outdo each other so it's been a pretty big waiting thing for the whole pc world to see what's going to happen so um it was good to see that they, they've actually dropped so in the nvidia series we've got the, the 30 series and um amd's dropped their 6000 series so that's the the series gen generation of cards. Um, Price-wise, um, looking at them with the, pretty much the lowest card at the moment NVIDIA's doing is the 3070. Uh, these are all in US prices as well. I'll do US because that's um, usually the easiest demographic to work with. Right, right. But um, we got the NVIDIA dropping 3070 at 499 US, 500 US. The 3080 oh. at 6 699. And then the 3090. Now, the 30, 3090 is sort of their, their biggest card, their flagship card. Right. Um, that's dropping at 1499. So that's that's a, a very expensive, very expensive card. That's sort of up there with the um, NVIDIA Titan, if, if the people that know that card. That was their sort of top of the range consumer card that you could get. Why is there um, such a price difference between those cards? Like the first two cards wasn't that big of a jump, but that second to third card was quite a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a big jump, but it's there's a lot of extra things. Like without going through all the the complete specs, like the it has a lot more bandwidth in the card. There's a lot more RAM, 
still using similar sort of um, RAM type, mm. but there's a lot more RAM, different clock speeds, that sort of stuff. So it is quite a significant, much more powerful card. We're still yet to see like proper how much how much better really it is, especially in the comparison against. AMD because AMD has a, a comparative card coming out that we don't really have benchmarks for yet. So they're coming out with the um, 6900 XT. Mm -hmm. So I think that's releasing early December. So within the next week, next week or two, we should be able to get some decent benchmarks on that. And there's a lot of talk that that's going to actually compare against the 3090. So I didn't a card just drop recently that had a bunch of bugs or a bunch of, a bunch of issues. It was. It was the uh, NVIDIA um series so it was basically i think it was in the 3080 or the 3090 it was the 3080 90 cowboy 30, 80 uh, 80 yeah 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 80. so what it was they had a um it was mostly in the um the aftermarket cards so basically um all your companies like asus gigabyte um yeah your, your third-party card manufacturers Mm -hmm. so they sort of they sort of skimped out on one of the products within the card and uh, was causing sort of like major crash issues and, and all this sort of stuff. So some of the guys that released the card a little bit later, they actually benefited. They could see like the actual issues that the people were having. Um, but yeah, like skimping out. So it actually um, made a fair bit of difference to their sales and that sort of stuff. Yeah. So I believe I'd... there was only I believe there was only Asus that didn't skimp out. Theirs was the only card that refused to crash. Yeah, the way that, the way that they were built or something around that. So. And, and the thing about that now as well, what they've done is they um they've reduced clock speeds and stuff to try and compensate for it. Which me me as a purchaser, I wouldn't be very happy with that because if if I'm buying a, a GPU that has a clock speed of say. 1700 but if you have to wind that clock back to 1600 to make it stable for example i'm not getting what you sold me do you know what right. i mean it's it's almost similar to i don't know buying a, a car that's advertised at a certain power like a certain kilowatt or a certain horsepower but it has issues at that horsepower so you now receive it at 100 horsepower left just so it doesn't have those issues the whole easy the reason you bought it was because of its high clock speed or something like that so it's quite um yeah, I, I would personally, I probably would have rather to see a recall, you know what I mean? Actually take it back, get yeah. it right, and, and bring it out of what it should be at. And that's what happens when you try to rush something out. Yeah, that's it. So look, looking at the just a quick comparison between them. So basically the, the lowest card at the moment, um, and uh, NVIDIA's 3070. So basically we've got, the 3070, the 3080, and the 3090. Yeah. Raiden, uh, AMD currently have the 6800, the 6800 XT, and they're coming out with the 6900 XT shortly. Um, a lot of people, me as well, was I was quite skeptical because I know AMD have had some driver issues with some of their cards and that in the past, so I was very sort of worried actually where they would sit in re relation to the benchmarks and, and that sort of stuff. and. Also the, also the pricing and where they would sit because NVIDIA's pricing when they came out shocked the world. Like they'd, no one had ever seen prices this low for the quality of car that you're getting. It was like a, right. almost like a, um, a generation jump in the quality of card, but the, the pricing structure, like just, just for example, like the, the 2080 Ti, that was the pretty much the, the highest level of, um, of consumer card other than the um, Titan, but that was like the pretty much the highest level. Right. And when that thing came out, that was almost 1200 US, right? Now Nvidia's card, the 3070 beats that card, right? And that comes out at 499 US. Huh. So it goes to show you right. like, yeah, a, a couple of years back, $1,200 and the new card beats it at 499. Like it's... That's it's insane. It's 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 ridiculous. Like just they they almost they pretty much um, just out marketed themselves with it. Like it's almost made the actual twenty eighty Ti useless. All right, final question. Wrap it up right here. If somebody says, "Hey Doc, I'm looking to buy a graphics card. I have five hundred dollars to put in a graphics card. What would you suggest? What give a, give us a range?" I would. 
I would still save a little bit. Oh, depends. I would probably still save a little bit more money and just try and stretch a little bit higher than that 500 if if I could. Mm -hmm. I'd be pushing around that 30, 80 mark. But then I haven't gone through the actual benchmarks. But then you've got that's 699. But then you've got the Raiden RX 6800 XT, mm -hmm. which actually beats it in certain benchmarks as well. They're sort of going back and forward, and that's five hundred dollars. That's fifty dollars cheaper than the 3080. So. I'd, I'd be the 6800 XT or I'd be the 3080. All right. What should yeah, people right. stay away from? Um, nothing necessarily to stay away from, especially like if you're talking the lowest of the low, the 3070 at 499, I'd be staying now at that pricing structure. I'll be staying away from the 2000 series cards because it's, they're just not worth it in price anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like a brand yeah. new 3070 at 499, you're going to get a second hand. 2080 Ti probably even more expensive than that, so and that beats it. So, awesome. I'd, I'd be starting to look at the 30 series or definitely the the AMD cards because they're killing it. Awesome, thank you so much, Doc. I'm looking forward to next week's tech information. No worries. Uh, <clears throat> now we're gonna go into some stream tips with Oz. Oz, uh, how go? How's it going, man? How's it going on the stream in front? Yeah, well, I haven't been streaming at all, really. <laughs> so I streamed twice this month, um, and they actually weren't too bad, the streams, but uh, that's what kind of got me onto our topic for today anyway. All right, so the topic is going to be consistency in streaming, um, what is too much, what is too little, and how you can kind of balance that out. Um, so what I've noticed myself is a lot of people, when they start streaming, are streaming, you know, every day, eight hours a day, um, one, it's making them not become a get affiliate um, because you know they got a hundred hour streams, but yeah. sitting at zero point five average viewers um, over a hundred hours, so they could have like the next twenty hours at at you know like five six viewers and still not be able to hit affiliate. Yeah. And then uh, there's the other end of it as well, which I'm currently in as well, and probably yourself, Cowboy and Cipher, where um, we haven't been streaming much at all, if at all. Um, and you can see that hit of numbers when you do come back. So it's kind of like a fine line there. And I'm just going to, I'm going to bring up my analytics actually since, uh, since I started streaming and just show you um, what is going on there. So one second. All right. So I just got my analytics here uh, for the last 602 days from April 1, 2019. Uh, started a bit after that, but I just wanted to make sure it was there. Um, you can't even see the views there because of how little they were. But look at all these streams for zero viewers, zero viewers, 0 0.1, 1.7. It's hundreds of hours there of nothing. Mm -hmm. And then I hit affiliate probably about here. And then we went, uh, we started community discords around here. So as you can see, it jumped up straight away. Um, and then you can see that I streamed a lot there. So the consistency was all pretty good. There was a bit of growth. Um, and then as the streams continued quite consistently, it grew again until I got to around this point. Which I was averaging about, you know, 14 um, average viewers, maybe 15 even. And then it kind of narrowed out, as you can see, and the numbers dropped. And then around this point here, I wasn't streaming at all, and it was really low numbers. And then it streamed heaps and they started going back up. And then lately, if you look over the last few months, there's barely anything there, and you can see the numbers have dropped back down. Um, another good way to look at it is with chat messages. So you can see it was quite active for chat when the numbers were higher and the streams were more consistent. And then it starts to drop off again there as well. And you look at time streamed. So look how much I was streaming at the start compared to now. Yeah. And the growth areas were kind of, there's been a fair bit there as well. Mm -hmm. But here I was streaming heaps and I had no viewers. Right. So there is a fine line. <laughs> I think what a lot of people don't realize too, though, like it is that 30 day rolling average that we've spoke about a few times before sort of thing. So the more you stream within that period of two less viewers at high hours, then it's, it's really harming your stream. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially when you're trying to push for an affiliate and lately there's been talk of being able to buy yourself the affiliate status. So that gets, that tends to uh, get rid of the idea of, a community discord but if you if we really think about it and i was talking to somebody about this the other day and they they put it this way they said if you think about it 
Most of the time when people grind for affiliate, after they hit affiliate, everything drops off and they have to start over again anyway, because those people were just there to help them get affiliate. But this is just kind of getting rid of that first step. People are still going to have to grind. People are still going to have to make communities and people are still going to have to connect, um, even if they quote unquote buy their affiliate. So I think, I think focusing more so on the quality of the stream, like Real said, instead of the, the, the amount of time you're streaming, you know, don't stream all the time just to get an achievement, but instead to stream with a purpose. Definitely. Another one just here in the analytics before I go off it is with the revenue as well. So, so if you're looking at the revenue, you see where it's highest here was in um, April and May. That were probably my best ever months, obviously. And it's been pretty good since then. Mm -hmm. But then you look at my time streamed and I wasn't really streaming much at all in the big times. So it doesn't, the more you stream doesn't mean more money for the people who are actually chasing the money. <laughs> you know That's what true. I mean? Um, if you chase some viewers. So yeah, you're just going to really kind of, um, yeah, toe the line, I think. So make a set schedule um, and don't do like 40 hour stream week. Would you, would you recommend say, if you are pushing for affiliate and your streams, let's say you're over the three average for that stream, you would keep it going. But if you are starting to drop lower numbers within that stream, then just sort of kill it and then concentrate on your next stream again you can keep playing games you just don't necessarily have to keep streaming for that day or that yeah thing i think personally you're gonna get your three when you get your three i don't think you should try and put the numbers like try and work the numbers in your favor like i get what you mean like if you have no active chat then i think definitely get rid of it but i just turn it off just because you go and go and crowd if you got one active chatter in there with one viewer in the active chatter then I'd keep doing it, even though it's under three, I'd keep going. And then you're building that relationship with that person. They're going to come back again. Exactly. Rather yeah, than yeah. you're just looking like you're just, like it's a bad look. I think you're just chasing that. Well, that at the end of the day, up. yeah, I think you're right. If, if you dump that active chatter, so to speak, and kill your stream, he's going to not want to come back. And he's really much the only active one you've had yet. So Yeah. And when you do get that affiliate, he's going to be, that person's going to be likely to maybe even be your first sub. Yeah. Um, but if you just go, yeah, oh no, I've only got one. No, I'm I'm happy to stay with one if there is active chatter. Yeah. Um, and obviously my goals are a lot higher than three affiliate, but I still stay for one. Like there's no, yeah. I think if you've got half connection. an hour of no chat, then maybe get rid of it. <laughs> like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely, it's hard. I reckon, yeah, like you're saying to um, get the numbers game out of your head. You know mm. what I mean? It, it does definitely, I remember when I was pushing for affiliate as well and it was always a numbers game and everything's comes down to numbers and streaming to the right. But then once you become affiliate, they sort of, they still matter, but some, well, some definitely they matter because sometimes you're sitting there going, what am I doing all this for? Because you are going to low numbers, but um, they definitely don't matter as much because there's no real objective behind it. You know what I mean? Like there is for affiliate. So it's really yeah, just so trying to get your own growth. Yeah. So just with pushing partner, then then it matters again. But like it's very, oh, I suppose your directory position matters a little bit as well. But it's very like negligible, I guess. Like you wouldn't, they wouldn't worry yeah. too much about it. I don't think. What a, what do people recommend turn them off? I turn mine off. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Would you so recommend? I don't even know until I you raid. Once you're affiliate, turn it off. I reckon turn it off from the get go. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah. Like the same thing as I was saying, like if you got the active chatter in there, you know, you, you got at least one, you know what I mean? If you don't have anyone chat for ages, I guess you're thinking you're on zero. To treat every, treat every stream the same regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my books, you would, like you don't have to obviously, but yeah. That's awesome, girl. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to more more stream tips from you each week. That's, a, that's exciting because it's so important to have that facet of community and not necessarily, not necessarily the pressure of achieving something, but more so just connecting. So that's good. GC Gives. Build your social media branding on multiple platforms with Gamers Corner's new giveaway Twitter. Simply sponsor a giveaway with a cash prize and let us know which social you would like to promote and we will do the rest. Get in contact with GC Gives and DM us for a prize list. Hello and welcome back. 
Uh, next, we are going to hear from Cowboy. Cowboy, what uh, what do you got from the kitchen for us, man? So yeah, so go with a quick light lunch, creamy pasta. We use some cream cheese. We know it's Philadelphia in England, but it's just cream cheese or mascarpone, whichever one you prefer. Um, get yourself a handful of pasta, spaghetti preferably, just a handful. That looks silly, but yeah, just a handful. <laughs> um, get that boiling while you're making your sauce. Pre-cook some chicken beforehand or whatever meat you've got in, you can use ham, you can use shrimp you can cook chicken bits left over from whatever <coughs> we'll use that as the meat we'll just fry it off quickly with some onions a bit of garlic in some oil um while your pasta's cooking away keep an eye on that you don't want it to stick so add some oil and some salt to that water um yeah and as that's cooking away just add add your, all your stuff to the pan saute it all up Wait until your onions are going see-through. Add your cream cheese. By that time, your pasta should be roundabout done. Without, don't drain your pasta, just use tongs. Pull your pasta out, straight into your dish, into your pan with all your other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Give it a toss around. If you need a little bit more sauce, take a little bit of water from the pasta pot. Add that in. Give it another toss, get your sauce right. Add it into your bowl. Grate over some cheese and you are done. But how long do you think lazy. that would take? Your pasta will take you roughly eight to nine minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. With where it'll still, you know, it's not going to be mushy. It's not. It's not going to break up as you as you're tossing it around in your sauce. You know, mm -hmm. you want your pasta to stay. So al dente. Yeah, about eight, about eight, yeah, al dente. About eight to nine minutes. Yeah, in nice heavy salted water with a good drop of oil in there so it don't stick together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now why not rinse it i've always rinsed my pasta why not rinse it um you just use you using the starchy water from the pasta will help to keep coagulate so to speak so it just keep your sauce together okay rather than i've known a lot of people that use cream or they'll use milk and i'm not too sure as to why the milk does it but the milk makes it look a little bitty Mm -hmm. um, and if you use cream, if cream's overheated too far, then it splits. Yeah. So you get the grease come out of the cream and it splits and it just doesn't look nice. Mm -hmm. With the with the water from the pasta, you'll keep the sauce nice. It'll get a nice shine to it. Even, okay, even add so a little bit of a blob of butter in there at the end just to give it a nice shine. So you're, you're boiling the pasta and you have a pan to the side and you put your cream cheese and onions in there? Is that what you said? You want to cook your onions off a little uh -huh. bit. With yeah, some butter. Start, start cooking your onions with some butter or some flavoured oils, whichever I like to use. We have an oil over here. It's um, it's actually salted butter flavoured oil. When you smell it, it smells like butter. Mm -hmm. So I just use a nice, nice big glug of that. Tuck your onions in there, start to sweat them off. Add your meats. If you want meat, you, can, you don't have to have meat. You can add... Um, we, we sometimes use peas, small mm -hmm. petit pois. Use peas, you can use green beans, you can use peppers, um, any, anything you want to put in there really to just bulk it out and give yourself some, you know, other than sauce and pasta. Right. Yep. Um, mushrooms always go nice in it. Okay. Yeah, and once you've got it all sorted off, you add it to your onions, saute it all off a bit more so it all gets some nice heat through it. Remember, you want everything to be piping hot. Mm -hmm. Nothing wants to be lukewarm. Right. Um, so get it all nice and warm. Whack your cream cheese in there, spin it around, add yourself your pasta, add a bit of water, and just knock it all about. Bang it into your bowl and grate some Parmesan over the top. I love, I love grated Parmesan. Or people, some people like a nice dollop of creme fraiche. You can put creme fraiche on it just to add to the to the creaminess of the sauce. It's entirely up to what you finish it off with. Mm. I like well, some fresh uh, spring onions, you know, scallions. Yeah. Just for crunch. Once you, once your pasta's finished, I've seen it like done a couple of different ways. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way. Maybe it's just the way that you eat it. But I've seen like some people get their pasta, they add it into the pan with where your meat is and your onions and all that and they sort of throw it all together and then goes on the plate and i've seen other people that just get their pasta put it on the plate 
yeah. and then sauce on top of it or something? Is that just like a personal yeah. preference thing? Yeah, or? it's entirely up to whether you, I mean, personally, when I was younger, I didn't like creamy sauces for, for just some reason. I, it just didn't get along with me if there was like mayo. I didn't like a lot of mayo. It had to be yeah. really finely spread. But yeah, it's, it's all personal preference. It's how much sauce you like to cover your pasta. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's two different ways to do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. However yeah. you like it. Yeah. Yeah, good. I like to I like to put a dollop of sauce on top of my pasta. Yeah. It's always so nice to top it off. But like I say, you can use anything. You can use crispy bacon to top it off. You can use crispy mm -hmm. onions. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's well, I'm just saying, like, I, I just like the noodles without anything mixed in. And then my sauce poured over top. Right, yeah, and yeah. And eating it that way. Yeah, yeah. That's what I make, prefer. Make a nest with your spaghetti. Good stuff. Well, it sounds quick and easy. It sounds good. Just a yeah. creamy pasta dish. Yeah, it's just just fifteen minutes and do you for lunch? You can, you know, you just fifteen add a, minute creamy pasta. Yeah, nice big, nice big dollop of cream cheese, and, you know. I got another quick. However many you want. Another quick question: How, if I was to cook that, say if I cook too much, can you keep it in the fridge for like for a little while as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with it not having cream in it, with it not actually having cream in it, it'll set into like sort of a solid sauce. Yeah, but so the Philadelphia goes it, back. Yeah, when you reheat it, it's not going to split or anything. Like that's the problem with creamy sauces. Like, for instance, your um, your carbonaras and stuff like that. When you reheat them, they usually split. And it yeah, goes sauce that. goes greasy and stuff. Yeah. So with, with the cream cheese, you won't get that. And especially we're using the pasta water with the starch from the pasta. Mm -hmm. Helps keep it together. Good, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Makes some take the work. Right? Yeah, good. I'm mm. hungry right now. Yeah, so <laughs> <Fine. laughs> I, I, I might go and make it after this, that's it. Yeah. YouTube video, what? But no, but th this, is, yeah, <laughs> this is what I was about to say. I'm going to start using the... the, the, the the dishes that I use from the podcast will then be introduced into my YouTube channel, so that's going to be up and coming as well. So yeah, good stuff. Awesome. Good. Thank you very much, Cowboy. Appreciate that. Looking Thank forward you. to next week's tips and tricks in the kitchen. <clears throat> All right, guys. It is time for trivia. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh yeah. That's Cowboys <laughs> Grill. What's your uh, what's your alert sound? <laughs> Doc. I can't remember mine. I have to come up with another one. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a goose. <laughs> oh, I got, oh the earth that fuck is going on in the house for winter. Uh, All right, so uh, the, <laughs> the first one to get five right will get a gifted sub. Ooh. All right. Now, these are all easy questions, but they range from uh, world trivia, movie trivia, and video game trivia. Okay. So, we're going to be bouncing back and forth. So, if you know geography, you might be good with the world trivia. If you know video games, you might be good with the game trivia. So, let's, do it. let's, let's, uh, let's start out here with some easy world trivia. So, the first question here says um, Buckingham Palace is in which now before i start <laughs> you can say country i'm ready to go <laughs> before, <laughs> before before we get into this um if i if you buzz me during the question i'll stop the question and if you get it wrong then i can repeat the question for the people who are left fair yeah, yeah. you're, you're yeah. out yeah. sweet yeah, yeah i get that yeah all right blah, so, blah, blah, blah. england incorrect would you guys like me to finish? Yeah, please, yeah. Right. yeah. Buckingham Palace is in which English city? Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cowboy? That is correct. So who's keeping score? <laughs> Fucking me, damn right. One. <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> <Bitches. laughs> no, I on. tried to cheat then, but it just backfired. <laughs> yeah. E easy enough, easy enough. All right, ready for the second one? Geographic. Which U.S. state is famous for Disneyland in the film industry? Uh, yeah, it was Doc. Doc. Cali, California. That is correct, California. Hey, can I just ask a question? If I'd have said Florida, then would that have counted? No, no. It has that's, Disney stuff, but not. That's, it is Disney's there, but it was it has, built much later. 
is Disney World is in Florida. Disneyland is in California. That's what made me stumble a little bit. Yeah, no, thank you. I want to do That's I why I did shout in. Yeah, we're going to shout in and just scream California. But uh, fucking Florida. <laughs> so one for Cowboy and one for Doc so far. Yes. All right. We're going to move on to some video game trivia. Oh. All right. Um, the SNES console was released in North America in 1991. What does SNES stand for? Uh Doc? Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That is correct. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, we're <laughs> I was just running it through in my head. <laughs> Doc was about Nintendo. 20 years old when it came out. That's what it was. <laughs> 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 I love it. I was born. I was born that year. <laughs> yeah. I was running it through my head, and then a fucking pack of geese just went over. All like, <laughs> <laughs> ready for the next one? Yeah. All right, which French video game company publishes the Far Cry series? Oh, why do I not know this? Hi. Is it Ubisoft? Is that your final answer? That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. I, that, is that, yeah. that is correct. That is correct. Cowboy. Um, I want to Yeah, because it's on um, Ubisoft Connect coming <laughs> up. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. thing. <laughs> that's the only like, is Ubisoft I'm French? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Shoot. Private Martin is the playable American character in which game? Uh, Private oh, oh, Martin. Oh. Doc? I don't know the exact, but has it got something Sam in the title? No. <laughs> just like, no. It's like skate shooting. <laughs> Dark Sam. Martin. Would you like me to repeat the question one more Martin. time? Private, Private, Martin. Private Martin is the playable American character in which game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cowboy. Cowboy. I'm just gonna say a call of duty. No. Yeah. But, but which one? It's oh. Call of Duty. That's it's just the original. Call of duty. Yep. Oh, what? I was going to <laughs> think of which specific Call of Duty game. This is Call of Duty. Oh, I thought it was, but I was like, shit, man. Oops. Whoops. Somebody's getting mad. I'm, I'm just getting schooled over here, <laughs> throwing stuff. I was just like, god damn it. <laughs> Three two zero over here. I uh, know you're going down. Uh, Let's see. Um, I'm trying to find something from a movie here, one that you guys might know. Mm. I don't even know a lot of these. Oh, you're the answers there. I know. I, I, <laughs> well, that's why I'm. Well, I read them before. I don't want to give them to you guys. I mean, like, you, you might, you might know this one. Jay might know this one. Uh, what 1994 crime film revitalized John Travolta's career? <laughs> I uh, can see it. I just gotcha. can't think of the name. Face off. Nope. I were gonna say that. I'm not chirping in now. <laughs> nice one, that. Ah, it's the one with the meme, isn't it? Where he's like, that, you know, ah, that gift. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of the name. I know, because it was 94 too. Shit. Can I go again? Can I go again? No. Hi. Cowboy? I'm gonna go. Is it Pulp Fiction? <laughs> Yes. I, I couldn't get the name. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Yes. It's like one of the most well-known movies ever. I wouldn't have thought of it as crime. That's, that's what threw me. <laughs> Isn't he a detective? <laughs> no, he's a hitman. Don't you oh, the opposite, then, yeah. Wow. He's, I guess he's crime. doing crime, though. Pretty yeah. crime, Damn, Pretty Cowboy, you're like... On fire. Is that four or five? I'm gonna have to do a nudie run shortly if I don't get it. All right, let's see. Um, I wish I could play a sound bit from a movie and you guys tell me what movie it's from. That would be fun. Maybe next time. Um.
Can you not play? All right, anymore? ready? This is an easy one. Ready? Who wrote the screenplay for Rocky? Yeah, it's not easy. I don't know. Blue. Grill. Sylvester Stallone. That is correct. Boom. Grills on the board. <laughs> yeah. You have it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I didn't. I, I thought <laughs> I, I was thinking, was it him that done it himself? And then I thought, no, it can't have been. It was the first one, give... maybe like the fourth one or something. Can I give you a little bit of trivia about um, nineteen ninety four quickly? Yeah. yeah. Yep. For movies, movies coming out in nineteen ninety four, Shawshank Redemption, great movie. Oh Pulp Fiction, great movie. Forrest Gump, great movie. Uh, Leon the Professional. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Um, some other little ones, Dumb and Dumber, like the yeah. first one. The first one was in '94. That's Arthur's favorite movie. It's my favorite movie yeah. of all time. The Mask, great, another great movie. Yeah. Speed. Keanu Speed. Reeves. Yeah, yeah, fucking awesome film. He even did Ace, Ace Ventura: Pet Detective in the same year. He, he was okay, so he he did The Mask, Ace Ventura, and Dumb and, and Dumber, 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 Dumber in '94. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, that was the year where he wanted to make like he had like a check to himself for a million dollars, didn't he? And it was payable in '94 or something like that. Did you know? Never... Oh, looks like that way. That's awesome. That's a year for movie. Cipher Leon was the one where he um, he takes in that little girl. She grows up and he's got a plant. He's a hitman in it. He's an assassin originally, isn't it? And then he yeah. just—I th think he gives up to just live a quiet life, and he's just looking after a plant. Hmm. I've not watched it in years. It's a crack. Interesting. Really yeah. Good film. It's a really good movie. It has that. It's it's that. What's the name? Actor Jean Reno or whatever his name is. Can't remember exactly. Yeah, I know who you're talking about, but I. What is his name? Yeah, Jean Reno. Yeah. Or Jean Reno. Jim, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but no, that's a bit of like four trivia for you. So what is it four, three, and one right now? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, if you guys, I don't know if you guys will be able to get this one. This is a tough one. Which Australian province has new at the beginning of its name? <laughs> Bro? You say New South Wales. That so is you, can't buzz, you can't buzz in and ask more questions. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he didn't ask a question, did he? Did he say it's New South Wales? No, he said, I heard which. What? What's your answer? New South Wales. Yes, New South no. Wales. I live in New South Wales. <laughs> it says, which Australian province has new at the beginning of its name? South Wales. Yeah, it actually threw me because I was like, province? <laughs> <laughs> so now it's 432. Come back, trial boys. Oh boy. It's looking that way, isn't it? <laughs> um, what is the largest country in South America? <laughs> Grill? Brazil. That is correct. Four, three, three. Trick three. Question. What? Oh, that's easy. These are all easy. All right. Easy ones for the win. Ready? Uh, Ottawa is which country's capital? I love that. Grill? Canada. That is correct. Four, three, four. Yeah, I'm stumped now. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Come on, Doc. Even it out, man. Give me another Ar chance to just get through this. Argentina's east coast lines on which ocean? Grill. Atlantic. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Yeah, let me think. Imagine that. Grill wins. Call it zero. <laughs> Come back at the end. Don't, don't call it a comeback. <laughs> oh, yeah. The comeback kid. <laughs> so. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> Give me a sub. <laughs> I'll give you a sub. Gift it to someone else. Um, gift it gift. to Nikon Bon. Okay, to your channel or gift it no, to, to his channel. 
give it to somebody from do you want me to gift it to you from his channel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Done. Is he is he live right now? Oh. I don't think so. No, he is not. Next time he's live and I'm at the PC, I'll do it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for being here. Grill, congratulations. We'll get that gifted sub then uh, out to Nakan's channel for you. Thank you so oh, much, yeah. guys, for being a part of this. I'm really, I really am excited about this podcast. I'm excited for where we're going. I know we're kind of like still got the butterflies. We want to make sure everything works really well. But uh, but I think we got something here that's really going to be fun, just enjoyable for us and, and hopefully enjoyable for the community. So going into next week, we're going to kind of run with the same thing. So, Doc, give me one sentence of what you're talking about next week on Doc's tech uh, tech tips. Next week, I'm touching again on hardware, but I want to touch exactly on the Go XLR because I'm about to purchase it. So I want to go through a little bit of what it can do, what it can't do, what it, how it can benefit you, and the I don't know a few little tips and tricks of of how you can really benefit your stream. Awesome. And where can people find you, Doc? Where can they ask you information? How can they get a hold of you? You can get me on my um, Twitch if I'm live, uh, X Doctor X. You can also get me on my YouTube channel, which I'm currently starting to build up. So with the same name. So hopefully and we'll have I think we'll have all the links in the description. And your Twitter? Between each. Uh, Twitter the same, all the same. X Doctor X. Doctor X. Okay, yeah. great. Looking forward to next week. Thank you, Doc Grill. Next week uh, we have your stream tips. What is, what's on the platform for next week? Uh, we're going to talk about the benefits and uh, the benefits of not being an affiliate on twitch benefits um, of not being affiliate yes and why you should consider canceling your affiliate status interesting dun, dun, dun. i can't wait to talk about that with you i hope we can mm. fit it in five minutes if not yeah, maybe definitely. people can maybe people can tune into the podcast with the extra content um That's final it. thing grill with stream tips uh you are your the point is not to condemn anybody for what how they're doing it but things have worked for us things that you've noticed in analytics right you're not out to we're not out to beat people up for the way that they do things we've just noticed things that have worked for us no no way no definitely right. not i won't be name calling anyone that's for sure <laughs> um yeah i'd call myself out before anyone else so me too um yeah and i've got plenty to call myself out on, so <laughs> It's no hate crimes, just general tips. A lot of the things I, that you say, man, I, I can, they, they work so well. I'm so excited for more of what you got. Cowboy. I, just wish I could do it. <laughs> anyway. Easier said than done, literally. <laughs> Cowboy, your, uh, what kitchen tips do you have for us next week? Um, well, well, yeah, we'll give some actual tips out next week and we'll pop in a quick sweet recipe for anyone that's got a sweet tooth. I definitely yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll try and mix it up each week. You know, we'll give you a bit of this, bit of that. What yes. social media can people find you on? Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Mall oh. Over Shop, Cowboy yeah. Cooks. Cowboy Cooks. Grill, where can people find you? Um, Anywhere, really, I guess. But um, yeah, YouTube channel is probably the one to go to. Um, but yeah, for more one on one stuff, just Twitter DMs or Discord DMs, um, you know, whatever. All right, great. I'm Cypher33 on Twitch, and I am Gamers Corner 8 on Twitter. So please do us a favor. Go follow us on social medias. Click the subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up. And let's, uh, let's get these videos started. Boys, I'm really excited for this journey. Me too. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks for being here. Cheers. Peace. Peace.